we will discuss today a few uh, problems of the circular motion, uniform circular motion. Um, this is first question. Uh, our head of clock is 3.5 centimeter long. Calculate find uh, its angular speed linear speed of the tip linear speed of the tip of the hand third one is uh, angular displacement angular displacement covered by the hand in 24 hours and then fourth one is the linear displacement of the tip of the hand in 24 hours. So this is the question. Now this question tells us that uh, the word tip is necessary for linear speed or linear displacement. Simple reason is uh, you can see it here. Suppose this is the uh, uh, wall clock or any clock. This is 12, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3 and so on. Uh, this is 11. Actually, this is the uh, what is the second hand is a bit longer. Then suppose this is the minute hand, and this is the hour's hand is a very smaller one. Now hour's hand starts its journey. Uh, I will just show you here the hour's hand. This is the hour's hand, smaller one. Uh, its uh, length is given as 3.5 centimeters. Now why the tip is not given for the Angular displacement because suppose if this is the point A, this is B, and the T is the tip. You will see A, B points up, T points are almost all the points have the same angular speed, and hence they will cover the same angular displacement. So the word tip is not necessary in that case. But here for the linear speed, since this T B and A all have the li different linear speed because V is equal to R omega. Even if omega is same, R is not same for point A, B, R, T. So V will be different. If V is different clearly, the linear displacement will also be different. So uh, the word tip is necessary uh, for the linear things, linear speed and linear displacement here. Now let us calculate the question, uh, see the question now. First of all, uh, let us see how much time takes our hand uh, for one complete round. Uh, you might be thinking it takes 24 hours, but I'm sorry, it doesn't take 24 hours. It takes 12 hours. Uh, how the 12 hours? See, suppose 12 uh, noon, then again will reach at 12 midnight. So it's just the 12 hours in which uh, the hour hand tells one complete round tip. So T is 12 hours, I can change into minutes 12, seconds 12 into 3600, uh, this will be the seconds, 12 into 3600, I can uh, just calculate 12 into 3600, and the seconds are 4, uh, 43,200 seconds. Uh, now I can calculate what is the angular speed, omega is 2 pi upon T, omega is 2 pi upon T, 2 pi, divided by this it come uh, the answer come coming out to 4.5 1.5 4 4 5 into 10 power minus 4 radians per second so the answer of this is 1.45 into 10 power minus 4 radians per second simply i have done omega is for 2 pi upon t and 2 pi I have put the value t is 12 hours or 12 into 3600 or 43000 200 seconds and omega is 2 pi upon t so it becomes 1.45 10 power minus 4 this is the omega uh, now linear speed of the tip of you know v is equal to r omega and now r is 3.5 centimeters or 3.5 10 power minus 2 into omega coming out to be 1.45 10 power minus 4 
and it comes out to be uh, somewhat into 3.5 exponential minus 2 it is coming 5.09 5.09 into 10 power minus 6 meters per second uh, this can be uh, uh, found another way also for example uh, if I can find a circumference uh, circumference is 2 pi r I can find a circumference 2 into pi is 3.142 into r is 3.5 into 10 power minus 2 I will divide it by 12 r's which is actually v is 2 pi r upon you can I can find 2 pi r upon the circumference upon the time period which is 12 hours 12 into 3600 and I still find the same answer 5.09 10 power minus 6 meter per second and then I had to find the angular displacement called by the handle 24 hours now for angular displacement we uh, use the word uh, the formula is theta is equal to omega t now omega is uh, 1.45 into 10 power minus 4 and t is 12 hours as I 24 hours he says total time is 24 hours so 24 into 3600 and this becomes a radians so it is 1.45 uh, exponential minus 4 into 24 into 3600 and it comes out to be 12.5 3 radians after 3 significant actually 12.5 radians uh, I can calculate directly by the way uh, since in 24 hours it will be just like 2 cycles so it will be covering 2 into 2 pi or total 4 pi radians 4 pi radians means 4 into 3.142 again the answer is almost same this is another method for finding the angular displacement now it says what is the linear displacement of the tip of the head in 24 hours uh, since we have found theta, I can calculate s is equal to r theta. s is equal to r theta and s r is uh, 3.5 into 10 power minus 2. The theta is 12.5 and I find the answer 3.5 exponential minus 2 uh, into 12.5. It comes out to be 0 0.4375 or I can say it is 0 0.438 meters per second this is the linear uh, distance meters 0 0.438 meters I can find the linear distance that we also uh, for example I have found the linear speed I have found the linear speed and when a linear speed multiplied by time is equal to vt you will again get the same result the answer of the linear speed and into 24 r into 36 and you will get the same distance divided. So this is one of the question. Another question uh, is of the banked angles. Suppose there is a question ki a car is traveling with a speed of suppose a car is traveling at a maximum speed with a safer speed of the car is suppose 50 km per hour in an arc of a circle of radius 50 meter. Uh, suppose there is a banked angle and arc of this circle has the car, suppose car is moving and the arc of this circle is 50 meter and car is moving at a speed of 50 km per hour, the safe speed. He says what is the uh, banked angle which is not shown here, what is the theta banked angle which is with the uh, whatever this side uh, is making with this one the theta suppose upside theta so let us see the formula is tangent theta is equal to v square upon rg so tangent theta v this is 50 km per hour I will change into meters per second 50 into 10 power 3 meter upon 3600 seconds so this coming out to be 50 into 1000 divided by 3600 this is coming out to be 13.9 meters per second at most. So I will say it's 13.9 whole square divided by 50 into 9.81. And I get the tangent theta is equal to uh, it is 13.9 square uh, divided by 50 
was one nine point eight one, and it coming out to be zero point three nine three nine. So theta is coming. I'll say shift tangent inverse, and the answer it coming out to be twenty one point five degree. So the bank angle should be twenty one point five degree in that case. Now another example is uh, suppose uh, there is uh, I'll form all the formulas here. Uh, suppose I can say okay, uh, sun has uh, sun is here and earth is here. Okay, earth is revolving around the sun in a circle. Earth is revolving around the sun in a circle. This is earth. Its mass is uh, 6 into 10 power 24 kg and it revolves around in th uh, 365.25 days and this approximately orbital radius is 1.50 into 10 power 11 meters. Now there are various questions. They say what is the angular speed of the earth around the sun? I can find angular speed is equal to 2 pi upon t and I can find 2 into pi is 3.142 upon t is uh, it is 365.25 days uh, actually the time and then uh, these are days of 24 into then 3600 this is just to change into seconds so this coming out to be 2 pi divided by 365.25 into 24 into 3600 uh, this coming out to be 1.99 into 10 power minus 7 radians per second or I can say it's 2.00 into 10 power minus 7 radians per second of 3 this is the angular speed of the earth around the sun uh, and then uh, that is he says suppose uh, what is the its linear speed I can say v is equal to r omega let us see what the linear speed of the earth around the sun. So r is 1.50 into 10 power 11 into 2 into 10 power minus 7. I find it to 1.50 exponential 11. Uh, it is in kilometers, it is 29.9 into 10 power 3 meters per second. Are almost it is 29.9 kilometers per second or 30 kilometer per second is the uh, 30 kilometer per second is almost the linear speed of the earth 30 kilometer per second uh, then suppose he says what is the uh, what is the uh, acceleration of the earth okay acceleration of the earth uh, I can say suppose uh, a is equal to you can find r omega square or v square upon r what you wish so i can find the acceleration r is 1.50 into 10 power 11 omega it's 2 into 10 power minus 7 whole square so acceleration is uh, 1.50 exponential 11 into 2 exponential minus 7 uh, square so that is the acceleration is 6 into 10 power minus 3 meters per second square acceleration. Or I can find my formula A is equal to V square upon R. V square was 29.9 into 10 power 3 divided by 1.5 into 10 power 11 square. I can also find by this formula and it is 29. 29.9 exponential 3 whole square and divided by 1.5 exponential 11. It is coming out to be uh, 5.96 into 10 power 9, 5.96 into 10 power minus 3, which is almost 6.0 to 10 power minus 3 meters per second square. That's the acceleration. So, what is the gravitational pull? of the sun suppose uh, he says what is the gravitational pull of the sun on the earth so i can find that the centripetal force centripetal force fc is equal to m into ac m is the mass of the earth 
which is 6 into 10 power 24 into 8 acceleration is 6 into 10 power minus 3. So this is coming out to be 36 into 10 power 21 newtons. Our eigenvalue is 3.6 into 10 power 22 newtons. This is the gravitational pull of the sun on the earth. So we, I have used here all the formulas. Uh, here we found first that omega t is given. So I found omega by the formula 2 pi upon t. Then I find the linear speed by formula v is equal to r omega. Then I find acceleration by the formula v square upon r or r omega square. And then I found the centripetal force which is the uh, gravitational pull of the sun on the earth. This was sun and this is earth. And I found it to be uh, it to be 3.6 into 10 power 22 newton. 